War and Peace is, you know, is one of the, the great 20th century operas uh, by a great composer, Prokofiev, who is um, someone who's composed a lot of music which is very popular, which is very well known. One thinks of Romeo and Juliet ballet suites, which everybody knows, and, 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 and the march from the Love for Three Oranges and, and so on, things like that. Um, so it's wonderful to have a gigantic work of literature that is set to music by a 20th century composer who people can understand and, and feel affection for. And it's a hugely rich uh, tapestry of private and public events, which was of course part of the idea of war and peace. So in peace it's love and romance and elopement and balls and all of this kind of uh, beguiling life of a wealthy Russian society and then suddenly they are plunged into a crisis with the invasion by Napoleon and everybody is in different ways galvanized to express really their nationhood uh, in defending it against against Napoleon so it's a hugely defining moment and you know we're we have a lot of problems today with our relationship with Russia and we, we wonder sometimes why Russia behaves in such a suspicious and hostile way. Well, you might like to reflect on the fact that they were invaded from Western Europe in 1812 and they were invaded, invaded again in 1942 from the same direction. So they have form in terms of being targeted by attacks from the West and that is something deeply built into Russian culture. Uh, so it's very interesting, very timely, I think.